o'clock. Hi everybody and welcome back to Bedtime Stories with Fee. Are you excited for another super story? I am very excited. Now today we are reading The Magic Paintbrush and this is another book by Julia Donaldson so I'm very excited to share it with you. Go and catch some shrimp, Shen. Go and catch some fish. Go and gather oysters to fill the empty dish. Shen sits on the seashore, a stick in her hand. She sits there drawing pictures, pictures in the sand. She draws a flower, a flying fish. She draws a boat at sea. A hen, a hare, a dancing dog, a weeping willow tree. Can you see all the pictures in the sand? She's not filling up that dish with fish though, is she? She's gonna get into trouble. The waves roll in and wash away the pictures in the sand. But on a rock there sits a man, a brush is in his hand. He looks around, he calls to Shen. Come here, he whispers, hush. We don't want all the world to know about this magic brush. He slips the brush into her hand and tells her to be sure never to paint for wealthy folk, but only for the poor. So he's given her a magic paintbrush. <gasps> what kind of magic do you think it does? Shall we see? She's only allowed to paint for poor people though, not for people with lots and lots of money. Did you catch some shrimp, Shen? Did you catch some fish? Did you gather oysters to fill the empty dish? No shrimp, no fish, no oysters, she laughs and runs inside. She paints a pot, then stands and waits until the paint has dried. So she's drawn a paint full of food. What do you think's gonna happen? The paint dries on the paper. The painting of the pot is not a painting anymore, but real and steaming hot. The pot is full of shrimps, Shen. The pot is full of fish. The pot is full of oysters to fill the empty dish. So she drew the picture and then it came real. That is magic, isn't it? What would you paint if you had a magic brush? I think I'd paint, you know, it's gotta be something chocolatey, maybe a chocolate cake. So I'm gonna get my paintbrush and I'm gonna paint my chocolate cake. Ooh, lots of chocolate on the top as well. <gasps> it's real, wow, I've got a real chocolate cake. Can you see it? <gasps> mm, and now I'm gonna eat it all up. Um. <laughs> The village people hear the news into the house they crush. The young and old all want to see Shen and her magic brush. She paints a melon for a boy, a ladder for a man, a basket for a woman and for a girl, a fan. And soon the news spreads far and wide and people stand in queues for blankets, boats and buffaloes, for hats and coats and shoes. She's painting lots of different things. The news spreads over fields of rice and over desert sands until at last inside Shen's house the powerful emperor stands. I order you to paint a tree and make it very big. Instead of leaves paint golden coins and hundred on each twig. Shen shakes her head. Your majesty, I promised to be sure never to paint for wealthy folk but only for the poor. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot and bellows to his men. Seize the magic paintbrush and seize the girl called Shen. <gasps> he's not a very nice man, is he? She wasn't allowed to paint for him because he's already got lots and lots of money. So she said no. And now he's taken her away. <sighs> now Shen sits in a prison upon a cold stone floor. She waits there till the emperor opens the prison door. He holds the magic paintbrush. He orders, paint that tree. Paint me my tree of golden coins and then you shall go free. Shen takes the brush and bowing low says, gracious majesty, come back here in the morning and you shall have your tree. So he's come back to give her a paintbrush so that she can paint the tree. Do you think she's going to paint the tree or do you think she's going to think of the clever plan? That night the emperor lies in bed and dreams about his tree while Shen is busy painting a horse and then a key. 
The key turns in the prison door, and Shen stands free outside. She climbs onto the horse's back and swiftly starts to ride. Wow! What a great idea! She drew a key so she could get out of prison, and then a horse so she can gallop away really quickly. Can you get onto your horse and start galloping away? Will she get away in time? Where are my coins? The emperor shouts. Where is my golden tree? Where is the magic brush? He cries. Who let the girl go free? He climbs onto his fastest horse and rides with all his men. Over the fields and desert sands they gallop after Shen. It's Shen! It's Shen! She's back again! The neighbours gather round. But Shen is painting quietly while distant hoofbeats sound. She paints a mighty river, a river deep and wide. The emperor and all his men stop on the other side. Another great thing to paint. She's made this big river so that it can't get across to her. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He shakes his fist at Shen. I'll swim across the river and so will all my men. Oh no, what is she going to do next? But Shen is busy painting, a beast with scales and claws. Its scarlet wings are open and flames curl from its jaws. Do you know what this is? A dragon! Whoa! And it's breathing fire. My dragon needs a tail, says Shen, and then it will be real. Yes, then it will be roaring and ready for a meal. Now shall I paint that tail? she asks. Or would you rather go? She dips her paint into the pot. The emperor cries out, No! <gasps> Have you got a roar like a dragon? And go, Roar! I think if I knew that was going to become in real, I'd run away too. The emperor looks a bit scared, doesn't he? He turns his horse and rides away, away with all his men. Shen takes the magic paintbrush and starts to paint again. What is she going to paint this time? She paints a mound of golden rice and cakes like little moons and drums and flutes till all the streets ring out with merry tunes. The sun goes down, the moon comes out and shines as bright as day while Shen and all the villagers dance the night away. So they've got drums, they've got flutes, and they're all dancing and eating lots of food. <gasps> Fantastic! What a lovely finish to the story. What a lovely way to use the magic paintbrush to have a party. I wonder what you would use your magic paintbrush for. I'd be really interested to hear. So you'll have to let me know. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed that. That was the magic paintbrush. And if you've got time, go and find another book. There's always time for one more, isn't there? <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.